Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me here, my house is a disaster. We have been just so busy. Um, you know, it's summer times, so we've been at the pool a lot and I've been working a ton. I'm finally having some coffee. So last week on Instagram, I asked you guys what type of videos you love to see on my channel and I got a lot of decor, DIYs, cooking, cleaning, vlogs, all of that stuff. So in this video, I'm going to combine all of those in one. They are keto recipes, but they're also just healthy, really good everyday recipes for everyone. Just a heads up, I am going to be posting some keto specific videos here on my channel, but those are just gonna be extra. They're not gonna take away from all of my normal postings. So if you see some keto videos pop up from me. Don't let that scare you away if keto is not your thing. I'm not changing this channel into a keto channel. I'm just posting a little bit about it on the side because I just started it and I'm really passionate about it and love it. I want to get started on cleaning this downstairs area because it's already giving me such anxiety. Room is filled with silence. We're alone and frightened. All we do is lie. They throw away our labor like a piece of paper gone and won't be found and ooh, cause you were not you were not you were not wrong and ooh, cause we are not we are not we are not one Thanks for helping me clean. 
Okay, Miles and I are going to be making keto bagels and we're gonna be making them like everything bagels. So this is what you're gonna need. We are just using these little donut molds, but the recipe that I will have linked down below, they did not use these, so the molds aren't required. I just figured they'd be easier. Right, Mai? Yeah. <laughs> what do we have here? How many eggs? Two. Two eggs. You're gonna need a little bit of cream cheese, baking powder, everything but the bagel seasoning. I got this from Trader Joe's. Three cups of mozzarella cheese. Hopefully this will be enough. And then you will also need almond flour. The first step is to take three cups of mozzarella cheese and one tablespoon of cream cheese and you're gonna wanna melt these down. The recipe said to use the microwave but since we don't have one, I'm just going to melt it on the stove. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on um, like medium to low heat and then preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, Maya, do you wanna be in charge of stirring? Go up here, you gotta keep stirring and stirring, okay? While it melts, keep on stirring it. So this is what it looks like. We just had it on there for a couple minutes. It's melty, it's combined, and I'm pretty sure that's what it would look like in the microwave. So now let's add it to the bowl. For the almond flour, you're gonna wanna add one and three quarters of a cup. We put it in a separate bowl to make sure he doesn't get the shells in before we add it to the main bowl. And then it says about two teaspoons of everything with the bagel seasoning. We're just gonna kind of sprinkle mm, it in like this. Cool. All right, we have Sis here. She's in my front pack. So this is one of the few times that I have missed my microwave just because I think the cheese would have um, melted a little bit better and combined better in the microwave, but this is the best we could do. Hopefully it works. And then the recipe says it makes eight donuts, so I'm gonna use one of these, which is six, and then two over here. And then I'm gonna use this coconut spray to spray the pan. The best method I found was to roll it in your hands and then kind of form it in a circle. That's what I did with this last one. Some of these I think may be a little bit um, too much batter stuffed in there, so hopefully they don't like get too big and misshaped, but we're just gonna roll with it. So now I'm gonna put these in the oven. Holy moly, you guys, these smell divine. And they look so good. I'm just gonna let them cool off before I take them out of the molds, but I did just kind of do a test one to see how easily they came out. And look at this, it's so cute and it smells amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to try these. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie, this turned out way better than I was expecting. So what you could do is you could cut these in half. They're a little thin, but I mean it's doable. And you can have it as a real bagel, like with cream cheese. You could also do like a bagel sandwich with these, with like some egg, bacon, whatever you really wanna do, some tomato. But I'm just gonna try it plain, it smells so good. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. One, two, go! This is so good. How good is it? It's actually way more yeah. of like a doughy consistency than I expected. I expected it to be more of like a baked cheese consistency, but I think the almond flour really makes it taste like a actual like doughy bread. This is so good. It reminds me of kind of like um 
one of those red lobster biscuit type taste just because of the garlic from the everything but the bagel seasoning even if you're not doing keto this is just such an easy low carb snack Stop. miles is eating it he seems to like it i'm definitely going to be making these again the next thing i'm going to do is do a little remodel on my fireplace insert diy i shared how i made this back in december i believe but i figured i would just explain it again because it's so easy and it makes such a statement in a room and I was thinking I know a lot of people don't have my same setup this fireplace area was um, built custom for our space so this is all just wood it's obviously a fake fireplace and then I just made this insert to go in here but if you have an electric fireplace you could easily make one of these covers using almost like a foam board material as long as you know you're not turning it on with heat but you could use something more lightweight like a foam board and you can either find one that's already black or you could paint it black i use spray paint for this one and then you can just hot glue the wood rounds directly onto that and then maybe use command strips to put it on the glass of your electric fireplace so that's an idea i thought about doing that for our electric fireplace that's in our bedroom but let me tell you how i made this one i basically went to a home depot or lowe's i took the exact measurements of my fireplace and I had them custom cut me a piece of plywood it's pretty lightweight I mean it's kind of heavy but it's I don't know it's not too heavy I think I just bought like the cheapest piece of plywood I didn't want it too thin because I wanted it to be sturdy and hold up and then from there I spray painted it black and then for the wood rounds I used hot glue you could also use like a you know tough as nails type glue I used hot glue because it's easy to pop on and off and I knew I was gonna want to change this up and then this part up here I've changed this out a few different times these are called wall pops I believe I bought them at Hobby Lobby they still have them they also have this black and white pattern that's really pretty I had that here for my Christmas fireplace decor and then I changed it out to this gray color which I do really like but we got a new rug recently and it's definitely more of like a brown color and it just does not look good with a gray so what we're going to do today is remove the tiles and then i'm just going to fill this thing completely up with wood which i have never done before so i will show you how i do it these are the wood rounds that i'm using i bought them at michael's the brand is wood pile they're 449 a piece which isn't bad Sometimes they're on sale, like if the wood crafts go on sale, or if not, you can just use the 40% off coupon and they're very affordable. Mm 
wraps this is keto it's low carb and my favorite it's super simple to put together and it tastes so good so what you're gonna need for this is a head of lettuce this one I found at Publix but they sell them like these everywhere and this is gonna be the wrap that we're gonna be using you're also gonna need some ground beef I got the extra lean some avocados garlic for the sauce, I'm using organic coconut aminos, but you could use soy sauce as well. Toasted sesame oil, and some kind of sweetener. This type is keto approved. It's the Pure Via Liquid Stevia sweetener. But if you're not keto, you can use maple syrup. You could also use brown sugar. I've used both of those in the past. And then I'm also gonna make my own sriracha mayo to top with this. You're just gonna need some real mayo and then sriracha, pretty simple. And then some salt and pepper and that is it. This comes together so quickly and it tastes so good. The love was made for me. Oh well. I was just as blue white as the sky could ever be. Loving you has made me realize I'm so tired of love.
teardrops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of This recipe turned out really good and it's something that I used to make even when we weren't keto as just a low carb healthy option. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to fill it with a bunch of cleaning motivation, a little bit of organizing, some recipes, and of course a DIY which is kind of my thing. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up as well and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! I'm so tired